So first of all, um, thank you so much for talking with me and Team Blood Reyna. I loved your portrayal of the past season because it was a delightful mix of grayness. It was, because there's a little gray in all of us in there. She made the tough choices, and I was arguing with so many people when I said, she's taking on all the guilt, and you guys act like she did it on her own. And it was all of them, and they just left it to you. And I'm hoping in this upcoming season, you're able to sort of let go some of that guilt and pain. Yeah, and a lot of it, too, um, Octavia had to shoulder, um, for instance, with the awful, um, for instance, cannibalism when the farm and everything died underground because we were down there for so long and um, with the fighting pits and having to resort to that source of nutrients. I hate even to talk about it, but that's what that's I don't write the show, but it, it makes for entertainment. Um, but, you know, it was Abby that told Octavia, if everyone doesn't do it, then they all deal with the guilt. So you have to teach them a lesson. And so Octavia um, really had to put a lot on her shoulders and deal with a lot of darkness. And after you deal with that much darkness, it's really hard to just see the light again. So this season, um, hopefully you'll see Octavia see just a little glimpse of that light. Will her relationship with Bellamy get better? I personally felt Bellamy betrayed her, but that's just how I look at it. Well, he poisoned me. I put him in the, well, not me. Uh, <laughs> hang on a minute. It's hard to, it's hard not to even, you know, you spend like 90 hours a week on set. You're like, <laughs> it's me. No, it's not. Uh, we play characters. <laughs> um, uh, you know, Octavia, Octavia put Bellamy in the fighting pits. Bellamy poisoned um, Octavia, so it, they're they're like at odds in the worst way for a brother sister relationship. Yes. It's like to the extreme. So this season, hopefully, you'll see them come back together. Maybe not. Now that was such a hard season as an actress for you to portray, which again, you should have been re nominated for an Emmy. It was so good. Like I was like fighting with people about it all the time. What did you do over the summer to sort of? let that go because I know it must have you know affected you as an actor or as a person portraying such a dark character for such a long time. yeah it was my first time kind of playing a villain for sure however I'm really honored um, and grateful that being on a show this long um, that it's still remaining on the air number one number two that the character is constantly changing so I'm never bored I'm a Gemini I love to keep it fresh you know it's like, you know, it's like when you're dating, you got to keep it fresh. <laughs> Dating is hard, especially if you're in LA. It's so ugly. Not I live in Canada, perfect. so I don't have that problem. But Canadians yeah. are so much nicer, I've heard, for dating. That's right. Yeah. You have to go to Canada. <laughs> Everybody, I did Canada, and the government's nicer, too. Oh, my God, um, yes. <laughs> gosh, we won't get into that. Um, but, uh, yeah. Ugh, my summers I spend like fishing and camping and going home to my family. I'm from a really small town, so that always resets my software, as I, as I call it, and that always helps. Oh my god, that's so fun. Now, I know as a major fan, you have such huge fan support. What has been the best thing your fans have sent you? Either like them taking a picture of them as cosplay, or just the artwork I've seen on your um, Twitter page? Has there been something that you're like, oh? Love. Today I met a lovely woman and she showed me her back and it was my writing from when uh, I met her at a con a few years ago and it says may we meet again and it was a tattoo of Octavia so I think that's pretty hardcore, hardcore. and pretty dedicated so I was very honored um, because it meant something to her and I'm just so happy the fans are completely dedicated to us and that we touch lives and I've heard all kinds of stories how we've helped them through dark days mm -hmm. and we all have those dark days so I'm really glad that we can tell stories that affect people in such a, a great way. I'm a big fan, I watch you guys live every week. I cannot wait for you to come back and see what's going on and I can just say this, Blood Reina forever, you're my queen. <laughs> I fought people over here on Twitter. I will fight them again. Ah, thank you. You're the girl that I wish I could be that was strong enough to make the tough decisions, still feel guilty. And your portrayal of it was just, some of the episodes had me almost in tears because I was like, oh, Octavia. Well, now so you're putting me into tears, so don't. Let's not both cry right now. Happy, happy, happy days. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's such a delight to finally get to meet you.
with all your support. Thank you. That's awesome. Do you mind if I May we a... meet again? Oh, well, we will hopefully meet again. Yeah. May I take a photo so I can keep it as memento? Yes. I'm so happy I bought, I splurged on Why don't we get somebody the else to iPhone take it, so 6. It's like a real like red carpet moment here. Oh my god, yes. Let's get somebody. We'll do this first. I splurged on the expensive. Um... Hi, do you mind if you take a photo? Oh, take a photo of us, please. Thank you so much. Okay. That's such a cute outfit, right? Uh, one, two, three. Perfect. Thank you so yeah, much. Have a you. wonderful day. Yeah, you too. Have fun at WonderCon. Yeah. I'm so happy to have finally got I know. Oh, it's almost time to go home. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.